y'all listen i've already seen y'all today but for y'all who have not seen me today in other words you didn't see the previous video that's called it shall come to pass i'm telling you you missed a treat why because i gave another testimony look what god has done god has made me an author this is my very first cookbook y'all the king has graced let's eat food for the body spirit and soul eating what jesus ate by yours truly will sandra graden y'all this is such a blessing and if you get a chance go and check that video out so you can get um it in detail the release date is january the first but you can pre-order you can go to um amazon you can also go to barnes and noble zulon press store and order your copy you can get hard copy paper bag and even ebook but i will say the ebook probably won't be available until like a few days before the release date which is january the first so please go and check out that golden nugget it shall come to pass why because what god has promised you shall come to pass just like it is coming to pass for me okay so listen let's get into this golden nugget right now god wants you to keep the children in prayer let us pray for our children god over the years have given me um golden nuggets to tell people to keep our children in prayer in other words why because the enemy is after our seed and generation okay and what god has been showing me first and foremost that there are witches in the schoolhouses that's already present okay but what god showed me a few nights ago is that the enemy is wanting to erect places where children can come in where they can actually indoct indoctrinate them to practice witchcraft sorcery and whatnot how do i know let me tell you god showed me in the spirit realm y'all while i was asleep that i was in a school and when I was in this school, I was walking down the hallway and I found myself going into a classroom. I went into this classroom and who I saw was a teacher. This teacher was a female. She was stacking some books on the shelves. I couldn't see the name of the books or what type of books she was putting on the shelf, but I can tell that her back was to me and she was putting the books on the shelves. And so after she finished putting the books on the shelf, she turned to the side a little bit and I got a glimpse of her face. And I said to myself, that looks like Beyonce. But I was saying that can't be Beyonce, not because she's a singer, but it can be Beyonce because she dabbles in witchcraft. She's a practicing witch. So I was like, that can't be her because who would put a practicing witch over children? Who would do that? And so I turn around, I'm looking around the room because in my mind I say, that can't be Beyonce, that ain't her. That's somebody that looks just like her. So I'm looking around in the room and God draws my eyes to this table. I'm looking on top of the table, y'all, and, and I'm standing afar off. So I can see the table in the distance, in other words. And so I see paperwork on the table, a few books and whatnot on the table. But then God draws my eyes to the legs of the table. You know, on a table, the legs are normally leg, 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 right? It wasn't like that. In the front of this table, the legs spelt out a word. And what the word spelt out was a name. And the name was this, Blue Ivy. That was the name that the legs on the table spelt out and the color of the lettering was blue. So when I saw that in the spirit realm, I automatically knew God was saying that is Beyonce. That's Beyonce. So now that I see this and God is confirming that who I just saw as his teacher, it really is Beyonce. I turn to look over there again at her. This time she's facing me. I see Beyonce's face and on her forehead in large letters from the top of her edges down to her eyebrows is written foreign letters, foreign writing, and it was Arabic. It was foreign Arabic writing all on her forehead, plastered on her forehead, big y'all. And when I saw it in my spirit, I can feel that God was saying, um, Antichrist which was letting me know she's not about 
Jesus being the son of God. She's not about that life at all. And when I was looking at her, I then see her with an umbrella. She has this umbrella. It's open up over her head, y'all. She does this while she's looking at me. I see the Arabic writing all on top of her forehead. She closes the umbrella over her head. Her head now takes the shape of a crescent moon. And this umbrella begins to vacuum seal around her head. It was vacuum sealed so much to where you can see the indention of the umbrella around her neck. Right after that, God takes me to a different scene. I'm outside on the porch somewhere. I don't know where I was, but I was outside on the porch and I could see this television. It was not a flat screen television. It was a tube television, old school television. And when I looked on the screen, Beyonce was on there, but she did not look like the Beyonce that's on the stage. She did not look like the Beyonce that gives an interview without makeup or whatnot. She looked it so decrepit, almost like, I don't know if y'all remember that show that used to come on called Tale from the Crypt. She had that look about her. She had a slave look about her. You remember how Jane Pittman looked in that movie? She looked like that, but it was like, I, I was looking like, is she playing a slave role? Because I was looking at because I was like, I know that's Beyonce, but it don't look like her. And then the more I looked at her on that screen, I was saying she's a slave. But then the more I looked at her, y'all, I can see her features was the feature of a witch. And I know it sounds weird because normally you can't tell a witch nowadays because what the, what the enemy would want you to think what a witch looks like is what they depict on television as far as green face, long nose, mole on the nose and whatnot, whatnot, a lot of wrinkles or whatnot. But um, nowadays these witches, they look like uh, regular folk. They look like models. They look like uh, regular people and what I realized what God was showing me was her insides the darkness of what she's into the wickedness of what she's into and so when I woke up God was letting me know that Beyonce is actually enslaved to that wickedness which means what we got to keep her in our prayers she still got a soul that soul can still be redeemed because God's grace is way it's sufficient. So God did show me her true look, her insides, how she looked if you were to turn her inside out. She looked so decrepit, almost how a prune looks. That's how her face was, like dehydrated, dehydrated, De dehydrated. That's the only way I could put it. Like she was just like, like she had just been dehydrated like never before. So when I woke up, I understood what God was showing me about her. And I also understood what God was showing me as well as that the Antichrist, those who are trying to sustain, those who are in wickedness, they're trying to sustain it. That's what the vacuum seal was trying to sustain a, a false doctrine. Trying to sustain the wickedness of it all. And we know that it shall not be sustained. Because God said heaven and earth will pass away. But his word shall remain. So when God was revealing me. Revealing unto me these things that I had seen. He then began to tell me. Because I saw the name Blue Ivy. Means that what's causing the table. Or what the enemy wants to feast off of. What will cause that table to stand. Is that. A child has to be involved, which means what the enemy wants to indoctrinate the children into wickedness, into witchcraft, into sorcery. He wants to erect different places that will allow children to come in and play with the witchcraft and whatnot. He's already doing it with Ouija boards and whatnot. He's already doing it with Disney World and whatnot because Mickey ain't nothing but a wizard. Okay. You see him with his wizard hat on and his stars and moons and stuff and down his wands and he giving spells and whatnot. He ain't nothing but a wizard. 
So that Disney World has already given children a mindset to think that it's okay to believe in fairies. It's okay to wish upon a star. The devil is a lie. God ain't never told us to wish for nothing. He said, delight ourselves in him and he will give us the, the desires of our heart. He tell us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And then God will wait. bring everything to us, add everything to us. God ain't never told us to wish for nothing. That's why on birthdays, ain't nobody blowing out no candles, making no wish. That's witchcraft. We ain't doing that. And you shouldn't either. Because God ain't never told us to wish for nothing. He has given us a hope, but he ain't given us no wish. He hasn't. So God began to reveal to me that the enemy wants to indoctrinate our children. And we got to make sure we keep our children all over the world in prayer and their parents. Like I said, because parents can be ignorant to the devices of the enemy. And they could be easily tricked, therefore being ensnared. And therefore their children are wide open for the reaping of the wicked. And we do not want that. We don't want that none whatsoever. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. So let us keep our children in prayer. Let us keep our children in prayer. We already know that there are witches already in the schoolhouse. But this particular thing that God showed me is showing me that um, what's going to take place or what wants to take place is that they want to erect a school strictly for that. To make it seem innocent. To make it seem cool and popular. That your children, children can come in and learn tricks. Learn, in other words, witchcraft and magic. And God is saying, not so. God is saying, not so. Don't do it. Don't be fooled. Don't, don't be tricked. And the way the enemy will trick parents into doing it. I told you, I saw Beyonce in there. She's a great influencer. She has, in other words, great influence. So the people who who's working in the kingdom of darkness, they have great influence. So when they erect these schools, I'm telling you, please do your due diligence in seeking God. Because it's going to look like it's innocent. It's going to look like it's another uh, a theme park. It's going to look like it's another fun place to take your kids for the little ones and the teenagers. The enemy ain't playing because he know he got a little time that he's working with. So he's doing any and everything to indoctrinate the children. And God is saying not so. The children will not be the legs that cause the enemy to have a table to feast off of. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. So I need for you to be in prayer with me, to touch in agreement with me, to be fasting and, and praying that God will cause for that every um, accreditation that's needed for these schools be denied, okay? That everything that they need to happen so that they can open, it be canceled, okay? That God will bring earthquakes to shake things up, to call for the building building to be unsteady, make the land not right for it. Do you, you, you get what I'm saying? So make sure you pray to God because our children, that's the seed and generation, and God wants us to be on our post to do what we're supposed to do, not just stand by and watch our children be given over to Molech. In, in, Levit in Leviticus, I believe it's the 17th or the 18th chapter, God is talking about don't give your children, don't give your children, don't feed your children to the fire, to that God of Molech. Don't do that. And whenever you give in to anything demonic, because you're ignorant, it's as if you're feeding your children right into the fire. So God wants us to be have discernment and to be alert. He said, be sober and vigilant, right? Be wise as a serpent and humble as a dove. So we got to do our part. Pray for our children and pray for Beyonce, okay? Pray for her because she needs help. She is enslaved in that weakness. And I believe if God is showing me that she was a slave, I, be, I truly believe that there's some little spark in her that really wants to be where God wants her to be. But it shows that from that TV, it shows that she's a slave to the wickedness. She too, she real deep. She real deep in it. She real deep. She's enslaved to it. So y'all keep her in prayer that God will deliver her out of that torment. Because anybody that's in wickedness, period, in the kingdom of darkness, they are, they are in a state of torment. I don't care how successful they look. 
if they are in the kingdom of darkness, there's some tormenting going on there. It is. So y'all, I got to go. I'm already at 15 minutes. Y'all know I love you, but most of all, Jesus loves you too. Listen and more. Okay. Keep our children in prayer and their parents. Okay. Talk to y'all soon. Y'all be blessed. Ciao.